Fighting all day and night does not mean that strong woman doesn't get to have a moment of peace to explore the new West Point. Welcome back to Project Zomboid everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do exactly that. Our base is set in the southeastern point of new West Point expansion place and we're gonna go further up the road and we're gonna explore it. It seems like it is snowing heavily outside once again. It seems like there's only couple of zombies around our base we gonna let them be and we're gonna just walk up the road across all of these corpses and we're gonna find something new just to switch things up today's weapon of choice is different we are once again using a spiked baseball bat just because it's fun strong woman is at 3600 kills now so we still have quite a while to go she has survived for 15 days now and she probably will have to survive for a bit longer to get to the 10k kills but it does seem like this place is pretty populated so there will be a lot more zombie killing before we're done with this place and it looks like there has been an alarm somewhere once again because all the zombies are fleeing let's be real if i were a zombie i too would flee from strong woman unfortunately for some of them they are fleeing directly in her path i just hope we're far enough from our base now that a bunch of zombies is not gonna get stuck in it again i would hate to lose all the barricades again but it does seem like we have made it to a place that we could loot it seems like this over here is some kind of a storage slash factory building right there and while there might be quite a few zombies nearby that has never been an issue for strong woman some time ago i did mention that we have pretty much all the tools we could ever need but that was a lie there's still one more tool we need and that is a can opener well i probably won't be able to find it in this factory i do hope to find it eventually because most of the food that we find it is in some kind of cans and we need a can opener to open those cans so we'll have to go and raid some houses as well and hopefully sooner rather than later this factory was pretty insane when it comes to loot we have found two normal axes and also an antique axe that has significantly higher damage unfortunately as it says you cannot repair it before we leave this place i also wanted to check the quality on this hood it is 73 percent so we might return for this i wanted to give this antique axe a try we all know axes are amazing at chopping down zombies and this one is supposedly taking that to the next level but strong woman's axe skill is the lowest out of all of her combat skills so i just wanted to see how she's gonna do with that axe and as you can see just like with everything else strong woman is a beast with this axe but because that axe is so good i will save it for future use just like i am saving my katanas instead i will use basically whatever i can find saving my better weapons for future use because even these less amazing weapons in the strong hands of strong woman and would you look at that that lady right there is bringing us another katana i don't even know why i'm using worse weapons than i could because there's just so many of good weapons on these zombies with lucky and grave digger traits i never play with lucky trait but i'm starting to think it's pretty overpowered alas it is kind of hard to loot this katana because their zombies don't seem to allow me to do that they know exactly what's gonna happen to them if strong woman is gonna be allowed to use it they will all die that is a level up in maintenance we are up to level six now and while katana and that antique axe are great find this is what i was actually looking for a water dispenser the good thing is our backpack is so big we can actually put that water dispenser in it the place where i am right now is full of tall fences and there seems to be a lot of zombies still around over here luckily most of them do not know how to get to me and by luckily i mean lucky for them because well we know what happens to them when they reach strong woman looks like a bunch of them did manage to reach her and that was their first and last mistake now it is getting pretty pretty foggy it's five in the afternoon i'm gonna send strong woman home enough exploration for a day there's bound to be some zombies she's gonna have to clear around her home and i guess on her way home as well but she's now nicely on her way to 4,000 kills she's now missing only 30 kills to get there only 20 only 10 and that's 4,000. 15 days in and she is almost halfway there you love to see it and you know what else you love to see <laughs> this is other katana kill enough zombies and you will find enough katanas looks like we have some visitors at home visitors who have broken 
through the main door. Now that is very rude. I'm not sure why this was necessary, but zombies, that was a real dick move. Now I realize the door is not very sturdy, but it's the best I can do at this level of carpentry. So please zombies, don't break it again. It seems like they have also broken through one of the windows, so I'm gonna barricade it with a metal sheet. And since I have a couple of extra metal sheets, I'm gonna barricade some more. Make sure all those back windows are safe and secure. I just noticed, looks like overnight we got the gift of becoming desensitized. Maybe it was even the previous night, I haven't even noticed, but we now do not get panicked anymore. Another win for strong woman. Another dab on the zombies that might try to hurt her. Today once again she is on a mission and the mission is finding the can opener. So we're gonna go out here in the trailer park and we're gonna explore it and hopefully find one. First place, let's look in here. Nope, how about in here? Oh, would you look at that. Can opener, here we go. Luck strikes again. Well, that mission finished after less than an hour. I thought I'm gonna have to search much harder for it. But that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna explore and clear out the whole trailer park. Because there's definitely much to find over here. And here they come. But strong woman is ready for you. One and all. There's seems to be quite a few big groups remaining out here in the trailer park so strong woman is gonna have a lot of work to do and as long as her trusty baseball bat doesn't break she is gonna be just fine well crap now it broke but worry not because we have another one as long as we have an axe and nails a knife and a hammer we can make as many baseball bats with spikes as we want and let's be real we want a lot because there are a lot of zombies out here and they have one desire to break every house to pieces destructive little gremlins you really should not have been fed after midnight and there are many destructive little gremlins around here one of the last groups remaining in this place one of the last groups of the trailer park boys okay but maybe this one is the last group of the trailer park boys and of course girls let's not be racist but sometimes it's hard to tell and not just amongst the zombies okay but this one definitely has to be the last group okay but maybe this one is the last one all right but this one now is legit the last group and i think besides a couple of stragglers like these it was indeed the last group of the trailer park boys because i have now explored and looted the whole place killing over 400 zombies and i have found some good things a bunch of food weapons and books and most important of those in the basement this is gonna allow us to actually make small basements now and looks like we have some zombies back at home but at least this time around it didn't break my doors i've never dug out a basement myself before so figuring out how this works is gonna be very interesting morning comes and it's time to check around to see how many zombies have arrived overnight luckily none on the windows but i've spotted some up the road you would think that killing like a thousand zombies just to clear the trailer park and a bit around would mean there's gonna be a bit of respite over here, but no. I gotta admit, I really kinda like this West Point expansion. But right now, we're gonna have a moment of respite and we're gonna go try build that basement. And for that, we're gonna need 20 planks and also 30 nails. So let's get some resources. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna look, but let's give it a try and build ourselves a basement. And I hear we have a zombie outside. Just quickly have to deal with this lady before he breaks the doors and now let's check the basement oh this is lovely zombies cannot get in here and this could be like our little safe haven of course they can stand up on top like right here they could like they could just await for me to get out we can now build some furniture out here maybe you're gonna make this like a cozy room but if you want the room to be cozy then <laughs> I don't think strong woman should be the one building the furniture. We should bring it in here. There seems to be new visitors outside. So it seems we're gonna have to go clear the roads again. And today let's go with the way of the spear. And it does seem there is a group of them on the road. Wanting to get to my house. And seems like there is more than just one group. A lot more than just one group. I can see three more groups in a place we basically cleared a day and a half ago. So yeah, West Point expansion. Definitely a great place 
place to be if you want to be constantly fighting and well strong woman is all about the constant fighting so this right here it's a perfect place for her to be and now she takes a moment to rest and eat steak mushroom and bologna roast what is there not to love zombie killing and steak eating life is good for strong woman in zombie apocalypse indeed very good with groups like these constantly around her it's gonna be easy to get to those 10k kills. She probably won't even need to go to Louisville. She just needs to clear half of West Point and she's gonna be done. Let's see how this is gonna look if she starts using a pistol. I mean, she is now desensitized, so shooting and killing really shouldn't be a problem. Although the zombie numbers might prove to be a problem. We might need a shotgun instead of a pistol might be very smart yes i think using a pistol was a mistake because <laughs> there is a lot of zombies out here so at least let's not kite them towards our home now i remember why uh silencers in uh, on guns are so useful because of this pretty much because of this i mean killing as many zombies is all good but uh, maybe i have overdone it a bit just a slight bit you know good thing we have cleared out the trailer park yesterday now we can kite them through it and i actually think we have lost a lot of them that now they can't hear the gunshots they are no longer following problem if your garden fork breaks though but good thing we have another and now we are at the point where we can start pushing back the road seems pretty clear just a couple of big giant massive groups of zombies otherwise we are completely good yeah just a couple over here that's basically nothing for strong woman basically nothing for her just a nice afternoon stroll i am going to reposition a bit though because my weapon is about to break and i'm going home to get some new ones and of course zombies have followed me but now this is where strong woman strikes back and destroys the fruits of her mistake no matter what weapon she has to use. So might as well use a katana, right? One unfortunate uh, thing about all these corpses though, she's getting queasy again. Maybe it would have been better if we just burned half of the city. It would definitely be more clean. Rest in pieces another katana. You were amazing, but now your watch has ended. But you did great to help strong woman on her road to 5,000 kills. Ladies and gentlemen, 17 days in we have done it halfway there 5004 kills but now i will listen to the queasy moodle and i will take things easy so strong woman is going home for the night another morning comes and now that we have 5000 kills let's take maybe a couple of minutes of a break at least i want to go and see if i can fix my car a bit of course driving all the way down here completely broke the hood and because the hood was broken it completely broke the engine as well which is now at 19 percent we're nowhere near being able to repair engine you need mechanics six for that so the best i can do right now is repair the hood at least and for that we do know there is a car nearby that has a decent hood we can use but of course the car has its own guardians so those couple minutes for a break yeah it's not a gonna happen there is just too many zombies in this city and they all keep coming <laughs> oh jesus i'm not sure if there was another alarm or something like that but everybody is here now like more zombies than when i was shooting i guess they really hate the sound of a car driving or something so once again we are in a conga line good thing i brought a katana with me we're getting a bit too close to my base so i'm gonna take them for a spin a bit katana has unfortunately broken so we go back to a good old crowbar the king of two-handed weapons the unfortunate side effect of so many dead zombies and so much blood on the ground as the game is actually starting to feel a bit choppy in some places of course that is completely my fault i just love playing with ultra gore settings i mean this is how our neighborhood looks like there are corpses everywhere i don't remember exactly how many kills we had before we 
we got to West Point. But Strong Woman has probably killed like 2,000 zombies in this small area. Good thing we don't have respawns on. Oh look, we have another crowbar delivery from that lady right there. Very useful because this one is taking some damage. Now after killing 250 zombies to get to this car, let's finally go and start working on it. And look at that, almost brand new. It's gonna be hard to get a new windshield, we only have a small chance and big chance to break it, but I am gonna try nonetheless. Great success, we now have a better windshield as well at 81%, only broke it once. Because I don't want to break our new hood more than it needs to be. Just for the sake of driving down the road, I'm gonna have to clear these groups out as well. And also find a gas mask against all this queasiness. Just going for a quick look what's up the road and it looks like well more zombies a lot more zombies no wonder there seems to be like a never-ending road of them so i went to grab a gas mask and let's get back to it because somehow zombies are right next to our base again they really seem to love migrating there gotta be some zombie anti-migratory laws or something like that maybe we should build a wall and make the zombies pay for it. With their blood, of course. That's another group that's not gonna be migrating anymore. And another group. And another group. And another group. And one more. Would you look at that? Another katana delivery lady. Blunt levels up to level... Eight? Amazing. Maybe I should stop complaining about these groups. They're great for leveling up our skills and delivering new weapons. Also, since we are closing on 5,500 kills now, I'm sure we killed at least 1,500 zombies today. Look at that. This lady just delivered us a machete. Machete is the weapon we got the most kills with, and we haven't even used it today. This crowbar has been doing really good. Maybe in the next episode, we can switch back to a machete. But since we are queasy, let's now really go and take things easy who knows maybe tomorrow if the zombies give us a moment of peace we can actually find some cool furniture for our basement below but for now hour grows late and strong woman has to go to bed thank you for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>